brothers and sisters in Christ. Psalm 145 says, The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The multiplication of the laws by Jesus is the clear proof of this truth. God always provides for our needs. After miraculously feeding the 5,000 men, Jesus began teaching about the bread of life. But he immediately noticed that the people were not interested in his teaching, but in the physical bread. Their motivation in following Jesus was materialistic and selfish. So he gave up this advice. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give. Materialistic minds just cannot comprehend spiritual truths. So Jesus had to be direct to the point. I am the bread of life, who are constantly will never hunger, and who are believes in me will never thirst. This statement is an invitation to accept Jesus into our lives. He knows the workings of the human heart. As long as Jesus is away from the life of a person, that person will find no end to his desire for more of these words. There is a lot of talk about bread today. From Exodus, we hear about manna from heaven that, they, that God gave to the wandering Israelites in the wilderness. Then God feeds them with prayers. In the second reading, St. Paul advised the Ephesians to satisfy their spiritual hunger by turning away from their former evil ways and by giving experience the fullness of God. The people who have eaten the loss and fish on the mountain still pray for something else. Our appetite for worldly goods is insatiable. We already have, but we still pray for more. 
Perhaps we can say that the most miserable person in the world is not the one who is materially poor, but the person who is already rich and still wants to have more riches. He is running after his charms, and that is frustrating and exhausting. There is no freedom. He becomes the slave of material things, and there is no peace and contentment. Hence, there can be no real happiness. The world promises so many things, but they leave us wanting for more. There is no end to the desire to have more. How often have you truly pondered these words of Jesus? I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Deep within every human heart, there is a hunger and thirst that loves to be satisfied. We all have this longing and desire. We try to fill it with so many things. But in the end, only one thing satisfies. Jesus alone can satisfy the deepest longings of our souls. In the Holy Mass, the Church offers us two types of bread. The bread of life, contained in God's Word, and the bread of life, contained in the Holy Eucharist. Let us nourish our souls with the heavenly manna, and carry Jesus to our homes and workplaces, radiating Christ's love, mercy, and compassion all around us. Amen.